Alright, so we back in with another video for you guys. This time, I just wanted to switch the angle. So, I got it pointed directly at me. And I hope it exposes right. I can't really tell because I can't really look at the viewfinder now. Because I have the camera pointed right at me. But, this is 720p at 60 frames a second. And, I gotta say, I'm really enjoying this camera. I've had it for uh, about two days, going on three days, and I've taken a bunch of photos so far and a bunch of videos. All the photos will be shared on Google Plus, and the videos will be in my video samples playlist. And really, <clears throat> this is a, a neat little camera, neat little camera. If you're looking to make some action footage, you know, some GoPro style action footage, this is a nice little pickup. Um, it does come with a bunch of accessories, including a waterproof case. So there is that. I'll be honest with y'all, I probably will never test that. I'm just keep it 100. But it is there. And if you're the type that wants to get adventurous, you can get at a shot. If you do get at a shot, leave me a comment down in the comments below and let me know how that went. But yeah. Um, it's pretty cool that this guy pretty much comes with everything that you need out of the box. And it shoots in some pretty good resolutions. And the fi picture itself is actually, it's, it's good. It's good. It's more than usable. More than usable. So, you guys let me know how the audio sounds. Because there's only one mic on this guy. Y'all let me know how the picture looks. I hope I don't have anything on my face. Sorry. So, yeah, but all in all, I have to say, I'm kind of liking it. It's, it's very small and compact. It has micro SD card expansion. So I have a 64 gig card in it now. And really, this thing is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Because now it's nothing for me to just have my fold up tripod on deck. Slap this guy in one of them, um... In one of the mounts and throw this guy in my pocket. So this just makes my video taking, you know, it takes it to that next level of portability. Now, you guys probably won't see too much videos with this camera. I'll let you know when I use this camera in the video. But specifically, I'm picking this guy up specifically for the versus slash comparison videos. Because I'm just tired of every time I go to compare a device with my Moto X Pure Edition, now my video quality and my video resolution has to take a hit. Now granted, I have other phones at that shoot in 4K, but there's all types of restrictions on that 4K um, recording limit. And in particular, there's even restrictions on the 4K recording on the Moto X Pure Edition. But one way around that um, 4K recording restriction is I use a camera app called Open Camera. And what that does is that removes the 4K restriction and lets you shoot in almost any length of video that you would like. Now, you're still limited by the hardware on the device. So you guys can see most of the footage that I've done with the uh, Motorola Moto X Pure Edition, it still comes out in about two parts. And that's because the, uh, the hardware itself, I'm not sure exactly why, is limited to about uh, 32 minutes. So even before with the regular camera app on the Moto X Pure Edition, I was able to get 10 minutes of 4K footage at a time. Using the open camera app, I'm able to get 32 minutes of 4K footage at a time. So that's a really big improvement. Really big improvement. And that's one of the reasons why I really enjoy my Moto X Pure Edition. And you know, I really don't understand why um, manufacturers and all of these companies put all types of restrictions on these cameras. So they give it the ability to record at these incredible resolutions, but then they put these recording restraints on it. I don't understand that. But if you use that app, Open Camera, 
you can get rid of those restrictions and you can really go in and customize your uh, uh, video or photo experience almost endlessly. There's a bunch of uh, settings that you can tweak with open camera, all that good stuff. Anyways, just wanted to point that out. Again, this video is being recorded at 720p at 60 frames a second, and this is on the light dial 4K action camera. And again, I apologize if there's any shake, because I'm doing this completely handheld, as you can see. No tripods on this one. Alright, again, I hope y'all enjoy the footage, and please let me know how the audio sounds and how the picture looks. Alright guys, you guys have a good one.